So in this video, we're going to talk about backing up your video game data in your Nintendo Switch. So if we go into system settings, and then we go down to data management, we could start seeing our saved data. So what we can do is go save cloud data. And what this will allow us to do is to use our membership with the Nintendo online to be able to back up some of this data. So for example, it even tells us which ones are not actually backed up and which ones are backed up. So save data that's not on this console or all the save data, for example. So if we wanna find specifically which game that we want to back up, we can find it on this panel. We can also go into our settings and find automatically backup save data. So that just allows us to automatically save all this stuff. And we can even delete the save data on the server, which is something that we don't wanna do obviously, but that is still an option. And then we even have settings for each saved data file. So we can even toggle these on and off for specifics for what we wanna back up and for what we don't wanna back up. Also, we have this manage software in the data management panel. So let's go here and have a look. So if we go down to the game, so we've got Pokemon Legends ZA right here. We wanna prevent auto deletion. So right here, I've actually toggled this option on. So this software will not be deleted automatically when freeing up space. This is something really key that we wanna do to back up our data, make sure that we don't have any corruption. And there's also check for corrupted data as well. So the system will check for corrupted data. It may take a couple of minutes for the process to be completed. And we wanna stay away from deleting that software as well. So that guarantees that we won't have any corruption as well. All right, and the next one we can go to is transfer your saved data. So you could send your saved data to another console if you wish. So you could send it from a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Switch 2, and you could back up your data that way as well. Okay, so that is another way, or you could receive the data. And then one other final way is actually expanding your data to a micro SD express card, and then backing up your data by just having it on that SD card. It is always good to have it based on the system itself. It means that it will run quicker and faster and most optimized, but sometimes you want to back up the data by moving it across. So all you have to do is move data between the console and the micro SD card when it is enabled and in your console. So those are a couple of tips to automatically save and back up your data so you don't have any issues with corrupted data in the future.